Right now, there's a protest occurring outside of the White House. It is a uh, demonstration to support the mass protests that are going on uh, right now in Iran. And the question is, will these protests both here and there have any effect on the regime? And what steps will the Biden administration take to try and rein in Tehran? Will this finally threaten the regime's power? Lisa Daftari, editor in chief of the Foreign Desk, joins us right now. So, Lisa, the defiance and courage of the of the demonstrators out in Tehran and 50 Iranian cities showing their outrage over this regime is amazing. Uh, how long could it go and what do you think could happen? Well, they're not backing down anytime soon. This is the boldest we've seen the protesters in 43 years, I would say. We saw them in the Green Revolution of 2009. We saw them come out in 2019. And what I will say is that each time the catalyst is different. This time, the brutal murder of a 22-year-old for showing some of her hair. Previous times for the price of eggs, the price of gasoline, the bazaar, the people coming out. Uh, all different catalysts, but at the same time, the message, the slogans on the street, remain the same. They're saying death to the dictator. They're calling for an end to this brutal, brutal regime. Uh, they're saying the same thing as you can see right now. We're showing you live pictures outside of the White House uh, of a demonstration there. And you see Masha Amini's, uh, the 22-year-old young woman who was wearing that headscarf with the so-called morality police challenge. And then, uh, you know, uh, her supporters are calling it murder. They're saying that she was murdered by the regime and this will only continue uh, in the next uh, a few weeks. What does the Biden administration do to not repeat the mistakes that the Obama administration made back during the green protests when uh, President Obama at the time basically stayed silent and some think if he came out and was more forceful, it could have led potentially to an overthrow of the mullahs? Yeah, absolutely. You're asking the best question, Eric. And the, the truth is, during this time, during this week, when these Iranian protesters bravely came out onto the streets to tell us their story, uh, the Biden administration invited President Raisi, who is nicknamed the Butcher of Tehran, for all the blood he has on his hands, invited him to come to the United States. They offered him a visa and all of his cronies to come on U.S. soil. They have threatened to assassinate U.S. leaders. They are brutally murdering their own. And now the Iranian people are telling their story. And the mainstream media, and I thank you, Eric, for bringing attention to this, but the mainstream media is, is pretty much silent on all of this. The death toll, I will say, is exponentially larger. It is going on in more than 15 cities. Uh, it's going on all throughout Iran. And the Biden administration has to give their support. In the same breath, the Biden administration will say, we're going to sanction the morality police. But at the same time, they're going back to the negotiating table for a JCP a deal, a nuclear negotiation, that is to give billions of dollars to this regime, to give them a lifeline, more years, more money to put into terrorism in the region, more uh, opportunity to kill innocent Iranians. And I will tell you, Masa Amini is one example. There are thousands of untold stories of Iranians who are suffering for 43 years. And that is what they are trying to tell the Biden administration. That's what they want the mainstream uh, media to cover. And the Biden administration needs to give them their support. One other thing I will add is the people coming out onto the streets is the Achilles heel of this regime. That's what they do not want to happen because that's how they came into power 43 years ago. Exactly this revolution of people coming out onto the streets and not backing down. We don't need to start a war. We don't need to invade. That is, these are false talking points. The Iranian people solely want the international community support and it starts with the president of the United States. And, and when you mention the uh JCPOA, which is the Iranian nuclear deal, critics saying that would open up billions of dollars for Iran to support Hezbollah and Hamas and continue their terrorism around the world. Uh, supporters, though, say, oh, it'll stop them from getting a nuclear uh, a bomb. But uh, it has been pointed out those sunset clauses are still in the deal as it stands now. And critics say that could let Iran have a nuclear bomb from two to uh, at most seven years. Absolutely. The envoy who the American envoy who was involved in the Iran nuclear negotiations so that it's they're right around the corner from a bomb. That's his own admission. That's so Robert when you O'Malley. Look at, that's Robert O'Malley. That's correct. And when you think about the fact that this nuclear deal will do nothing to stop them. But again, we'll give them that lifeline. We'll give them money to put back into terrorism. And there's only one way forward for Iran. This is, you know, to stop this Iran regime. This is not 
just, you know, getting involved in foreign politics. This is truly something that needs to be done for the global community to, for our own national security, uh, to stop the spread of terrorism in the region. Every dollar that this regime has had, they have not spent it on their main street economy. They have put it into terrorism, as you said, supporting the Houthis, supporting Hamas, supporting Hezbollah and, and more. And of course, taking it out on their own people. So, you know, this is something to definitely pay attention to. This is not something to take lightly. And those people, they're being courageous enough. The least we can do is offer them our support. And as we see uh, finally these photo, uh, these live pictures of this protest going on right now in front of the White House, I have to uh, tell our viewers the, the flag, the Iranian flag you see there, see with the lion and kind of the sun, that is the traditional old flag. That is not the theocratic uh, regime that is there now, the Islamic, radical Islamic, terrorist, murderous, butcherous, theocratic regime that is in power in Tehran now. What will it take to restore democracy and liberty to, to Tehran and to help the suffering Iranian people who have suffered so mightily under the uh, thumb of the theocratic mullahs? They just want our support, Eric. This is what they are saying. They're telling us their story. And uh, I know every time, that, you know, protests begin in Iran, people talk about, we don't want another war. We don't, you know, you know what's going to cause more wars? Going back into that JCPOA, going back into a nuclear negotiation with Iran, giving them billions of dollars to this murderous regime. The people in Iran are telling us something very clearly. And I know that this is not in the palette of the American news consumers to know about the, the nuances of what goes on in Iran. But they're telling us that this government does nothing for them. They're an invasion. They are an invasion of for 43 years. A government that has invaded the Iranian people has brought terrorism to the region, has brought terrorism to their country has brought terrorism around the world. They are threatening Americans. And uh, this is this is what they're telling us. It will be a better world without them. And uh, let's not you know, mix things up. The sanctions that the Biden administration has offered to put on certain sectors of Iran's regime, they have done nothing. And we know that they have become extremely, extremely more bold during the Biden administration, where they have taken down the IAEA, the inspectors' cameras. They have more centrifuges spinning. They're enriching uranium at above 60 percent. And again, they're around the corner from a bomb. So what is all this quote unquote diplomacy talk coming from the Biden administration? What has it done to curb the activities of the Iranian regime? As we can see by the murder of this innocent 22 year old girl, it has only emboldened them to be more murderous, to to act the way that they have to spread uh, more terrorism in the region, to make threats against Americans. So let's take a step back here and say, what is truly the more diplomatic action here? It's to offer our support to the Iranian people, to stay on top of these stories. And again, thank you, Eric, for doing that, to bring to bring a spotlight and not take it off of these stories. Well, we are proud to do that here at Fox News. Elisa Daftari of the Foreign Desk, Masha Amini, a new symbol of human rights, decency and democracy. Lisa. That's right. Thank, thank you. you. Arthur.